Since 2015, I've worked in esports and have treated more than a thousand gaming injuries. A majority of injuries are at the wrist and hand, and most of the time, it's a result of three things. Posture and ergonomics can affect the physical stress on the wrist and hand. Most common issues are associated with wrist position, mouse grip, and forearm anchoring. For example, tilting towards the pinky is a common side of ulnar-sided wrist pain. The muscle controlling ulnar deviation, tilting towards the pinky, has to work harder during mouse movement due to the length tension relationship with the muscles. More cross bridge interactions in response to external load. So there's an increase in stress, which means a reduction in the time to fatigue, leading to tissue irritation. Muscle endurance is key. Gamers need enough endurance in the frequently used muscles of the forearm and hand to handle the repeated stress of your extended gaming sessions. And this is based on the game you play, your mouse grip, aiming style, your role, different variables that affect the muscle activity of your wrist and hand. So you can exercise more to build more endurance, which can lead to better prevention. Load or schedule management. We can reduce the stress per unit time with a better setup and improve your muscular endurance for prevention. But if you play 12 to 14 hours with no break and do that consecutively on multiple days, this load adds up. So you want to move and stretch between your games. Recovery is necessary to prevent that stress buildup. Today I'm going to walk you through another 9 minute routine, a series of stretches and exercises you can do after a long gaming session of Valorant, CS2, Apex, or any other game you're binging. This is an update to the previous routine I designed which required the use of a light dumbbell. And so I wanted to create a routine gamers could do without any equipment. It's going to help you strengthen all the muscles you use frequently while gaming and can prevent many of the common overuse injuries we see from gamers. We're gonna start by warming up the muscles on both sides of your forearm, your flexors and your extensors. Sit in a comfortable position and open your hands completely, trying to elicit a stretch between your fingers and then making a fist squeezing firmly. Repeat for the duration of the 30 seconds. Next, we'll be continuing to warm up and activate the muscles through an isometric contraction. Perform the exercise, press your fingertips against each other for a 1 to 2 seconds, then lift off for another 1 to 2 seconds. Repeat for the duration of the 30 seconds. For this exercise, you'll need a long towel as shown. Pause if you need to grab it now. Fold the towel in half and roll up one side to create a small cylinder you can grip. From there, you'll be squeezing the towel and bending your wrist up towards the ceiling. The pressure from your feet will prevent the towel and your wrist from moving, creating an isometric contraction at the same muscles. Hold each repetition for 5 seconds and repeat for 1 minute. This exercise will focus on strengthening the flexors or palm-sided muscles of the forearm and hand. Get on your hands and knees and with your knees below the hips and hands below the shoulders, you're going to start with your palm and fingers flat on the ground. Lift the palm away from the ground and slowly lower your palm towards that ground using your forearm muscles. Perform repetitions over 45 seconds. You can control the amount of resistance by utilizing your body. This exercise will strengthen the extensors. 
In the same position, you'll be starting with your fingers flat on the ground, pointing towards the knees with your knuckles contacting the ground. From there, you're going to slowly lower the back of your palm towards the ground as shown. Use your body to control the level of resistance or load. This can be strenuous for some, so use caution when trying this for the first time. Perform over the duration of 45 seconds. Here we're repeating the quadruped flexion and extension exercises. This further strengthens the flexors and extensors of the forearm, which are important to build endurance to again ensure you can handle repeated load over time. We continue to perform exercises which have high loads for the tendon and are performed isometrically. These types of exercises have been shown to be healthy for tendons and can even help to reduce pain if you are already feeling some discomfort. Start this exercise closer to the wall and add distance as you increase your strength. Repeat for 30 seconds. This is another isometric contraction, but for the extensors. To perform this exercise, form an open finger ball as shown and place your left fingertips over the right. From there, you will straighten your right fingers and prevent any movement with the left hand as shown. Hold for about one to two seconds and repeat for 30 seconds. We're going to repeat another set of the wall push-ups again as a reminder, if you want to lower the difficulty, you can stand a bit closer, or if you feel it's too easy, you can step a little further away. We're going to again perform the isometric finger extension exercise, but for the left. In this set, you're going to be having the right fingertips over the left, with the left trying to straighten and the right preventing a movement. This next exercise is a stretch of the forearm flexors. Start in the hands and knees position with your palms flat on the ground and rock forward until you feel the stretch at the palm side of your forearm. Hold each stretch for two to three seconds and rock back or hold the entire duration of 30 seconds. We're going to perform a similar exercise but targeting the extensors. Start in the same position but with the back of your hands contacting the ground. This time a rock back until you feel a stretch. Hold or perform 2-3 to three second repetitions for 30 seconds.
For this section, you can perform any of the series of finger stretches on a chair or edge of your table. The purpose of this is to stretch the different fibers of the finger flexors through more targeted stretches. You can perform four finger, three finger, two finger, or individual finger stretches, and blocking the other fingers also allows for a stronger sensation of a stretch along with targeting some of these smaller muscles of the hand. Hold each stretch for three to five seconds and perform them in sequence for one minute. Before you leave, I do want to give you guys a plan to ensure that your wrists and hands stay healthy. You have several options on how you guys can utilize this routine, but here are my recommendations. One, you can perform this routine daily, either at a separate time from your gaming session or 20 to 30 minutes after your session. And I would schedule it into your day since it only takes around nine minutes. You can also do the exercise three to four times a week if you're playing, especially playing at a competitive level. And you can think of it as a strengthening and endurance building routine. And all of the other days of the week, you can use my five minute or six minute post recovery stretching routine after your gaming session.